Hello Sigmas. Gravity is the most mysterious force in nature. You might be thinking I'm saying this because you might have read a lot of science pop books and you might feel I'm saying this because nobody is able to unify gravity with quantum mechanics as you might be knowing, right? But it's not about that. There are many more mysterious features of gravity, some of which I have also discussed in my very first video on what is physics. But let us do it again, right? So I will give you a brief overview of uh, what I have discussed in that video too. So first of all, you should know what is the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of Earth. So you know that the gravitational force from my previous video that the gravitational force on any mass is uh, given by G M E M divided by R E squared R cap where R cap is the vector if we consider the polar coordinate system and the, its origin at the center of the earth right. And ME is nothing but the mass of the Earth and uh, M is the mass of that body right on which we are measuring the gravitational force due to Earth. So what will be the acceleration of that mass? Now from Newton's uh, second law you know that this is nothing but M uh, A right is equal to minus G M E M divided by r e squared r cap. The force on a body is nothing but m a. Now m and m gets cancelled and a is equal to g m upon r e squared. Now again the fact that this and this gets cancelled is again a very deep mystery because this is actually the gravitational charge and that is, this is inertial mass. And why the gravitational charge is proportional to the inertial mass, nobody knows. In fact, Newton recognized this fact and he showed that this is true uh, up to uncertainty or an error of 1%, which is uh, very good. And he proved it by showing that the time period of a pendulum, which we are going to look when we discuss simple harmonic motion, it does not depend upon the material of the pendulum, right? So the time period does not depend upon the material of the pendulum. And by showing that, he showed that the acceleration due to gravity was independent of the material of the pendulum, right? Because the time period, as we shall see, is depends upon acceleration due to gravity. But that is for another day. What is important is Newton showed that. And this is why gravity is so very mysterious. And it has just got started, right? In this video, I'm going to show you even greater mysteries which gravity holds. So stay tuned. Now, this acceleration due to gravity or for Earth, if we represent it with G. So G is equal to minus G M E upon R E square. Now you can see that there is a negative sign. So that means that this force is going to be always directed in the opposite direction to R cap. And what we did, we assume that the origin is located at the center of the earth. So what does this prove? That this is always directed towards the center. of the now you can see that we know the value of acceleration due to gravity we know the value of mass of the earth right if we assume that we know the value of mass of the earth and the radius of the earth then you can measure the acceleration due to gravity or you can measure the acceleration due to gravity and you can calculate the mass of the earth and that is what we do but uh, Basically, if you measure acceleration due to gravity, you will find that uh, it is equal to nine, approximately 9.8 meters per second square. 
which is equal to 980 centimeter per second square which is equal to 32 feet per second square so these are in various units but basically these are the values of acceleration due to gravity now this is acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth but as we move further away from the surface of the earth or we dig a hole into earth and we go, try to move towards the center of the earth the value of acceleration due to gravity is going to change but that is for a future video also uh, due to rotation of the earth we know that there are some forces we know that the earth rotates right so if this is the earth let me use blue because earth is a blue planet so if this is earth and it we know that earth rotates right so due to the rotation of the earth what kind of force arises yes the centripetal force and that's why the the acceleration due to gravity which we measure is actually not the actual value of the acceleration due to gravity only due to earth it's because of the rotation of the earth and in fact earth is not perfectly spherical right if in your high school you in geography you might have uh, learned that earth is actually uh, like this it's a bit flat from the top that right? it's like an egg actually like this it's flat from the top and bulged at the sides and that also uh, causes some variation in acceleration due to gravity because your distance from the center of the earth to the equator is not the same as your distance from the center of earth to the poles and you know that earth also has an atmosphere around it which applies an atmospheric pressure so all this actually deviates the value of acceleration due to gravity from its uh, original value the next term that uh, we are going to see is weight and what is weight weight is nothing but the gravitational force of earth right so weight is equal to what was the gravitational force of earth minus g m e m divided by r e squared r and uh, this g m e upon r e square along with the minus sign and this r cap vector is what it's nothing but our acceleration due to gravity right so we will get m into g obviously because this is the newton's second law now one fact that uh, you can observe from over here is that this is independent of m as i already told you and again that is a deep mystery which i have covered in my very first video on this channel but what are the what are the consequences of this the consequence is that you can see since it's independent of mass irrespective of what a mass of a body is it is going to fall with the same acceleration whether it's a 1 kg ball or a 4 kg ball right both are going to fall with the same rate with the same acceleration given by the acceleration due to gravity and that is mind boggling right so gravity is not only weird and uh, mysterious in the cosmic levels or in high level physics where we speak of unification of gravity with uh, quantum field theories but it is has always been mysterious since the period of newton gravity has always been very mysterious it is the weakest force but has challenged the strongest minds so these are some of the mysteries of which gravity has uh, put forward and uh, i hope one day one of my viewers
more such videos do subscribe to my channel and do not forget to like this video i will see you in the next one thanks for watching